Welcome back to Madden Ultimate Team, everybody. My name is Mr. Hurricane, and I have a couple new additions to the team to introduce to you. Say hello to Michael Kendricks, Team of the Week 86 overall. This is a card I like a lot. He fits my read and react chemistry I'm working on. I give him a boost in power moves, and like Jamie Collins, so hear me say that word again. Versatile, Michael Kendricks has no weaknesses. Fast. Good intangibles, can rush the passer, hit, get off tackles, and cover. He is like the five-tool player right here. Check out the ratings as we go down the list here, getting a boost in pursuit and the power moves and zone coverage. I think that's a plus two boost, which for a linebacker is pretty big. And then we go to the offense, and Tavon Austin, most feared addition 86 speed or 86 overall with 91 speed 81 catching he replaces Colt Cruz as a more dynamic playmaker who might not be as sure-handed but he's faster and he has better route running and of course we know what he can do as a returner I am improving his spin a little bit with move the sticks so that is pretty awesome those are the new additions I have here now, I didn't get to as much most feared stuff as I wanted to, so I didn't record any content for this when the most feared players were basically transformed. I didn't really have much to show, so I didn't want to just record the content and watch a bunch of players more from the other team while mine remained the same. So, I'll try to do better for the next promotion, which will probably be for Thanksgiving. But I like where the team is at. I just passed 84 overall, and it looks like they finally raised the level cap. So now I can move beyond 30 and see where the cap is now. Probably 35 or 40, I'd have to guess. So let's get back to the action now with a team I can't wait to play more with. Tavon Austin joins the top three with Brandon Marshall and Cameron Wake. We're going against Adrian Peterson, Randall Cunningham, and Hassan Reddick. I had thought about getting that Adrian Peterson, but the Dalvin Cook was so good. I like the Christian McCaffrey. Didn't feel the need to save all my gauntlet trophies for him. So here we go, more ultimate team. No salary cap, but I like how even this matchup is, so I'm excited to get going here. Welcome back to ultimate team, everybody. Tavon is back as a returner. Sorry, Dion, you gotta go block. And Austin. Trying to spin, will be taken down at the 31 yard line. And we're going to start things here on the ground. A little Dalvin Cook handoff, racing to the outside. Thank you, Randy. And Dalvin picks up an 18 yard first down. They had five down linemen there and two deep safeties. So I wanted to try and attack them on the outside. That was an optimal front to exploit. I like that Tavon gives me more speed, but I still have to be smart in how I try utilizing it. And I do want to stress the safeties. I really want to make sure we can take a chance there. So they're dropping way back. And I'm going to start scrambling now. Not going to... Oh, I could have probably thrown it. You can saw... I tried to... I tried to hit circle, as you could tell. Really stacking the box here, giving me the same look every play, which is a very dangerous approach to the game. So I'm going to be audibling and having Austin and Moss going deep downfield. You can't cover both. Deep for Tavon Austin, it's ripped away. I wish I could tell the outside receiver to run to the pylon so we could spread out and make it harder for that safety to cover all the ground. Third down and three. And how about Zach Ertz? He's been so reliable. I've had him from like the first week of Ultimate Team. Got that one gauntlet trophy. He's been well worth it. And I still think he's a viable tight end. Now we see a single high look. So what do I want to do this time? I want to send Tavon deep again. See what they do on defense. Three man rush. And giving me the time to scan the field, find Randy, and that's a touchdown. Nice throw, Stafford. Good start. I will still be doing some salary cap stuff, but I obviously made some upgrades today, and I didn't think I could get them into my lineup, and I didn't want to have to figure out the points and whatnot right now. I'll do that later on for my next installment, my next team. 
maybe it's locked in and I can't do any editing right now. Wouldn't be su surprised if that's the case. So at any rate, seven nothing. And look at that, it's going to the end zone. Janikowski's nice. Not sure if there's any wind impacting things. Wow, we're still not doing that great in kick coverage. As a Viking fan, I'm also really tempted to go out and get the 87 overall team of the week, Adam Thielen. That's a card I like a lot. I wanted a good Thielen. My overall, aggressive pass rush, been a few days, so I haven't uh, kind of forgot what exactly I was trying to set up there. But I think I got it all squared away. Starting things in the air, rolling out with Cunningham, and that's going to be lofted outside for a first down. Big plays galore. Shot plays are really good. First down. Now we're playing some man coverage. Got to watch the scramble now. That's past the line. Pick it. It's a free play. That doesn't count. I just don't trust zone coverage against the shot plays. I have to go man to man. It forces them to hold on to the football longer. So we have a spy and a scramble and a pass downfield. I'm too slow. Is that Tavon? I guess that's a look at what I could be doing with him. At least shot plays aren't as useful once you get inside the red zone. Things change down here. First down. And knocked away. Heck of a job by Byron Jones. Second down and ten. We have a spy in effect. Cunningham has to reset. He's in trouble. There's nowhere to go. Sacked. Cameron Wake. Once again, cover three, and we're going to have a spy. Michael Kendricks is in the game. Rolling right, covering the speed. It will not separate. Intercepted by Michael Kendricks. Give me a block. Oh, come on! That should be a six right now, man. Oh, well, we can still earn it on offense as we come out with three tight ends. And I'll run it to the left. Cut back. It's Cook. Dalvin bouncing, getting 10. I kind of wish there were more outside zone plays that you could run in here. They're a lot of fun. It's nice being able to just read and then make a cut when you see it. First down here for Dalvin Cook, gain of eight. Given we're seeing a lot of cover too, this should be like a really good play call right here. We're gonna go play action. Oh, it would have worked too if we wouldn't have gotten destroyed. I don't think the tight end screen really works. I haven't ran it that often this year, but I like busting it out every now and then. Second down and 14. Again, I just want to send Tavon Austin deep. Maybe Dalvin Cook to that left flat instead. Five on the rush. Swing it out, Dalvin. Juke. Here we go. Here's a play that might actually cause the safety to pick one and not be able to cover both. So Chad Johnson is on the inside of the formation. Randy Moss will fly up the sideline. And we're going to go deep down the middle to Chad Johnson. He's going the distance. 69-yard touchdown. Good throw on that one, Stafford. We finally exposed those safeties. We back in a big way today. Quick victory right there. On to game number two. Who are we facing this time? David Johnson, Joey Bosa, Donald Penn. Those power-up cards haven't really seemed worth it to upgrade, but you do get a 90 overall Joey Bosa, and that's going to be a pretty filthy card to have. So here we go from the link. Let's hope for more of the same. I think that play that I scored that last touchdown on, I might want that to be my first play of the game going forward. I can always audible it to inside zone, but if they're in cover two, I mean, that is just a cover two destroyer. You know what? I might want to actually align this by speed this time around. I have cornerbacks all around the same overall. Cameron Wake around the edge along with his teammate Olivier Vernon. Now, I actually thought about upgrading my offensive line as we see the tackles get beat. I thought about getting that DeMar Dotson that requires two elite scary tall players, I think, or is it scary strong? It's one of the two. But I really want to have a player that I can build around for a long time, and that's exactly what that Dotson would provide. So I may have to see if I can get some of those cards. Underneath here, we're going to make it third and long. 
Andrew Luck is the quarterback, so again, I have to watch the scramble. And here's a pass going way down the middle, and Luck is way off the mark. Nice start for us defensively. Maybe not, but just in case, I am going to be watching for the fake. Brad Wing, can he throw it? I know he can run. He had that long touchdown at LSU. Um, am I thinking of the right play? Or was it in the pros? I can't remember. I know Brad Wing had a long touchdown. He can run. But he doesn't here. And it's time to go back to that big play. You know what I need to do is to have two deep safeties. But if I move Austin to where Johnson is, then it's a lot tougher to contain this play. We're going to start here. And the, sit and the linebacker was too slow getting back there. And you dropped it. Come on, Chad. We'll come back to that later. Not going to do it on this play. Hand off. Dalvin weaving here a little awkwardly. And it's enough to get a first down. Just want to see what kind of looks I'll get here. Three down linemen. We'll swing it out now to Dalvin Cook. And he'll get us another good chunk of yardage. He's going to this too high safety look, but that doesn't mean it's covered too. He did try to disguise it on that last play. So second down and three, and this time it does look like cover two. Outside the Tavon Austin, and there he goes. That's going to be a touchdown. I got some speed now, so you better watch out. All right, first and ten, and a good run to start this drive by David Johnson. Gain of nine. I do want to play more cover too. I guess I just need to play the middle zone myself, which really isn't that hard. Just not what I'd rather do. Johnson again, tough running. Will it be David Johnson here again? Now under center with two tight ends. Spread the line, play action. Trying to get a big play downfield. And we're reading it, but Luck is going to scramble and get the first down. Play action crossers. Nope, it's inside zone. And David Johnson's tough. I just keep running it if I can't stop it. That's an impressive job so far. I wonder how good this interior line is. Second down and four. It's going to be a fake. Luck. Fires complete. Good play. And that'll be a first and ten. Can we tighten up here as we get close to the end zone? Rolling right against our spy. And it's going to be caught for a touchdown all the way across the body. That's just dumb. However, the extra point was missed. So we still have the lead. Tavon Austin on the return. Uh-oh. He's not going down. I guess he finally does. Loaded box here. Let's try to beat him. Dalvin Cook, get to the outside. Nope, he's tracked down by Vic Beasley. Whoa, what is this? What is this? We're sending all three of those guys vertical. Come on. Uh, I don't know who I wanted to throw it to, though. Oh, well, I'll just run it with Stafford, make a miss. I should have a comeback in that situation just in case. Because, you know, when the ball's in the air, it takes a while for it to cover the distance so let's go back to the air Stafford is gonna be sacked this time Wow what a loss I just want to keep attacking downfield though with the looks I'm getting so let's send Tavon downfield see what gets opened up it's Moss now it's third and less than ten Bet it's going to stay in Randy just run an in rate to the sticks I like this look who do I want to make sure we ID here? I'll keep it right there. Let's slide to the right, though. And picked up really nicely. Got it to Randy for a first down. Well executed. Let's attack the flats now. You're not going to stop Tavon's speed out there. Austin. Whoa, Vic Beasley. How you doing? Giving me some really interesting looks here. Second down and nine. I think he's trying to get me to throw it up the seam and uh, think something is there that isn't. So I'm trying to play it smart. Second down and goal. Again, looking to that right side. Uh-oh, watch out for the pressure. 
Good coverage, and that is gonna be a Randy Moss touchdown. Again, we got the offense going today. I'm liking this. Seven point game. This is where I go for two. I do not believe in the eight point lead. If they're good enough to go down and get the touchdown, chances are they can get the two yards that are gonna tie the game. I always believe in going for two in this situation. So here we go. You take a risk when there's something to be gained, and a two score lead is a lot to gain. And this is gonna be picked off, so I executed it very poorly, but I'll take that every time. Seven point game now as we head back to defense. Watch out, Andrew! We have the pass rush, and it's Sheldon Rankins. Showing two, but it's actually cover three. Bringing everybody in tight now. I think I know what this play is. Maybe I don't. Motion with Bennett here, a lot of movement. A lot of weird stuff pre-snap from this opponent. And we have a really good play dialed up to stop it. Olivier Vernon, fourth down. Just gonna keep calling this play. Uh-oh, watch out for Bosa. Oh, I thought that was like a referee or something. I did not think that was, I don't know. That was strange. Like I saw something there. I just didn't think it was a player, I guess. Picked off by the Honey Badger. So much for that chance to really break this game open for me. 45 seconds remain. Again, we have a spy on Andrew Luck. Playing cover three. This is going vertical. We don't have the speed. Randy Moss to the end zone. And now a chance to tie the game. Going empty here. I know the play I like from empty. It's the double slant off left side. And Luck, not gonna get it. We defend the goal line. Let's see if we can get anything in the remaining seconds here before half. Uh-oh, it's Tavon Austin flying up the sideline. Waste some time, waste some time, waste some time, and score the touchdown. I've been waiting for that one. Did not have to wait very long, though. And now, seven-point game, going for two. Looking for that two-score lead. Wow, intercepted. That might be a two-point play the other way. Man, I tried to go quick in the flats there, and my two-point plays have been terrible. I got to get a play I like in that spot against users in an area of the field I want to exploit. Uh, there, I was just trying not to attack the middle because that's what I did last time, and that's just not where I want to attack things. I want to be able to get something open. Thought I would there. So, good job, 19-14. I've missed some chances here, but still have the lead. And we're gonna see play action from Luck here. We have cover two man, and we're gonna not quite get in position. I did a terrible job getting there with Harrison. Can't be that mad at it because I made a terrible play as the safety. 18 seconds left, trying to find the end zone now. And that is gonna be dropped? Come on, Byron. 12 seconds left, five point game. Watching Michael Thomas here. Uh-oh, might get a catch and run. Nope, no catch at all. Gonna try pressing here. I have safety help over the top. I just wanna throw off the play. Third and 10, good call on the run. I like that call. Adrian Peterson will set up a field goal. He missed his only kick so far. Here's a field goal attempt, and it's gonna doink off the upright. No good, five point game going into halftime. Okay, another touchdown. We'll finally have that two-score lead I've been trying to build. And Tavon Austin is upended. He has two of our touchdowns. And I'm already liking this Tavon Austin a lot. We're going to start things in the air on first and ten. Watching the right side. Let's come on, Carter. Nearly picked. Haven't tried running it a lot in this matchup. I will here, though. And Dalvin Cook will get us about five. I'm kind of willing to run it again, honestly. Third and four. Dalvin. Oh, no, it's Bettis, and we don't get there. I thought we'd get a good enough push. I saw the opportunity on the previous play. Wanted to go back to it. Nope, real punt this time. Wow, and actually had a good chance of blocking it. I'll just look to pin them inside the ten. 
All right, can we play some defense now? Five-point game. That was not a good possession. And we stuffed the run here on first down. I kind of can't believe I ran it on third and four, but it was just one of those things I thought I could get to work. Second down and eight. Got to watch the middle, and it's incomplete for Thomas. Come on, can we get the play we need on third down? Here comes Mean Joe Green. Forced out left, Luck across the body, and intercepted by Byron Jones. There we go. Now we have the ball close to scoring range. I still want to try getting the run game established. Thank you, Dalvin. That's a gain of 11. And another run with Dalvin Cook. Juke out the safety and pick up another first down. Looking to run third straight play outside zone. Another good run for Dalvin Cook. Seeing if he gets over aggressive at all. I'm not going to get too aggressive on this play. Seeing some press coverage. We're going to throw it up for Jack Doyle and it gets knocked away. I didn't really consider that aggressive. The defender wasn't like looking at the ball or anything and it was a, a high pass and those aren't usually intercepted. So now third and five. And we're going to go over the middle and it's intercepted. Man, oh, he went backwards down to the one. I've gotten myself in good position, but I've made the bad play in almost every instance. Peterson barely gets out of the end zone. Whoa, really spreading the field here. I'm not sure how I didn't see that. Second and ten. And we get the safety. Olivier Vernon. Back to a seven-point game. Getting bailed out here. 21-14, headed to the fourth quarter shortly. Tavon Austin now. Can't usually do much on these safety returns. But maybe? No. I do want to try running this clock a bit, says Dalvin Cook is stacked up this time. Now on second down, play action, and a dump off to Cook. I still want him to have the football. First down, Cook will go to the fourth quarter. And no blitz this time, so I'll swing it to the right. And Dalvin staying on his feet and in bounds, still losing yards. So now we got to get something big. Third down and 12. And we're going to take this down the middle, Tavon Austin. Splitting the safeties. And now we can go right back to all this power-heavy stuff. Christian Okoye now in the game. Maybe I'll give him the football on one of these plays. Dalvin Cook gets us plenty. Pinching the line here pretty aggressively. And Dalvin Cook is going to take it in for the touchdown. That was a close call, but it's a two-score lead at last. I did miss the extra point, though, so it's only a 13-point game. And here we go. Crunch time now. Need a play. Luck looking for it. And it's overthrown. Going empty now. We're watching deep middle. Carrying up the field. Got to make a tough play in traffic. And Edelman does. Down to the 47. Good play that last time out. Now it's a pressure from Olivier Vernon. Three and a half sacks. That card is so good. Third down and 19. No spy this time. Luck headed to the air as we cover the tight end. And that's intercepted by Rodney Harrison. And we are going to take over with a minute and three seconds to go. All right, another victory. 2-0 in this episode. That was good. Oh, it skipped the entire ending. Oh, well. I had a couple big mistakes in this game, actually a, a few. I had those interceptions and the bad two-point conversions. Those were the, the things that I didn't like about this game, but we got some turnovers of our own, made some plays on offense, and Dalvin Cook got going. We also made sure Tavon Austin was the star of the show, and I'm already liking the addition of that card. Three and a half sacks for Olivier Vernon. We got the playmakers we need. So let's just see what my daily quick sell is worth. Can I get more than four for once, please? It's gonna be five. Hey, it is more than four. I'll give you that. 
All right, hope you enjoyed this episode of Madden Ultimate Team, everybody. Please leave your feedback down below in the comment section. Smash that like button if you want to see more Ultimate Team on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss the next episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.